welcome to the Don Serious Show. Whether you're a curious mind or someone seeking inspiration, the Don Serious Show is your go-to destination. We promise to ignite your curiosity and leave you with fresh insights after each episode. So subscribe, tune in, and enlighten your mind. Start paddling, Pinky. We must reach the lab before tomorrow night. Why? What are we going to do tomorrow night, Ray? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. They're Pinky, they're Pinky, I'm the brain, 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 brain. <laughs> How did you like that intro? <laughs> this is the Don Series Show. Yo, welcome. And hey, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, what else am I supposed to tell the people to do? Shit, I don't fucking know. Like, oh, yes, I do. Share, subscribe, yeah. join the yeah. Discord. Hurry, come join us. It's in the description box. Join it. You won't be disappointed. If you don't know about it, just fucking ask. Because I'm here to tell you how it goes. I built the shit. Mm, mm, mm. And please, if you guys will like the video, we probably... I promise he will not show his feet this episode. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I don't know. We I might have some foot lovers out there that want to see that crap, but hey. <sighs> For those Guess of what? that don't. If it's one thing I le- No, 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 no. But if it's one thing I learned about being on YouTube, this shit I like, don't nobody like. But the shit I don't like and I upload it, they can be like, love it. I'm like, that's crazy. That, that's, that video wasn't even about shit to me. But, like, it kind of also tells me what the world is on. Kind of like, I actually am learning about planet Earth through YouTube in a sociological, psychological way. Yes. Yes, with analytical data and with algorithms. I am learning where the wave is at of how the majority behave or what they like. It's some weird motherfuckers out there. Y'all some weird motherfuckers out there. I'm just gonna say that. It's a lot of weird motherfuckers out so there. So please share. What have you learned? For real. I learned that they just want me to, they want to see me in the damn hood in a big ass truck making French press coffee, playing trap beats that I make trap beats and saying that the warehouse is over here and the dope house is on my left. Oh they love shit like that. Oh look, look I I don't like what 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 yeah the customer is always right give them what they want <laughs> I, I swear i swear and then okay i can get why the other people like i had a i got a helicopter video i rode the helicopter from takeoff landing b-roll type footage no editing they like that better than the edit stuff i guess because it's real world stuff like it's like oh i saw him get in the helicopter shawty and you know he was in the front main and you know he was filming i saw downtown cuz like yo i understand it i get it i get it so i didn't i didn't edit shit i just raw footage it and put it on the on the youtube channel and they liked your video when you was walking down the street well i was well i was like walking the tips down the street don't do that yeah I, I, <laughs> yeah that wasn't her walking, but that was your voice. And they like that video. It's the voice. It's just the stuff that I think that they would like if people put a lot of effort behind the footage. It's not even that. That's not even what they like. It'd be some cornball shit to me, but it's cool. Either Y'all way, win. we appreciate the likes. No matter what type yep. of content it is you're liking, we appreciate you. Hey, have you ever heard of a... Let me hold up, because you know, there's two shades and shit. Touche. And I really didn't want to do that voiceover for that for that walk down the street. He has a story behind that. I was trying to get him to tell the story behind the walk. And, of course, in true overlord fashion, get it done. <laughs> yeah, well... I mean, the truth of the matter is that, um, oh, I dropped some. Oh, I dropped my phone. The truth of the matter is, uh, like, uh, ooh, jeez. Yes, 20 years ago, I, I, um, I made a rap song, and it was called uh, I Left My Blunt in El Segundo. And it was a spinoff from uh, I Left My uh, Wallet in El Segundo. Was it a, tr- a Tribe Called Quest? 
It was. A track I think so. Quest, yeah. And I don't remember the yeah. name of the song, but. He was like, I left my wallet in El Segundo. I, anyway, but I, I I made a blunt smoking song. I left my blunt in El Segundo. And it wasn't even really about a blunt. It was about a, a Latino woman being in love. And her father was a goddamn cartel leader. And I was getting dope from the cartel leader. And I was trying to ignore her. But we fell in love. And we were trying to keep it a secret. And he found out. And he kidnapped my ass and brutally beat the shit out of me. And she helped me flee. And we fled to Mexico. And he, her and her dad was from El Segundo. That was just a story because some woman challenged me to write a song in poetry and so that was my form of poetry. And then 20 years later I went to California last year to bring the new year in this year and I walked down the streets of El Segundo. That was like really amazing to me. I don't even know the words. I was in awe. I was happy. I was like bro life has full of surprises. And sometimes you have to have poise and calm yourself because if you ask for things, sometimes, you know, these people used to be like, be careful what you ask for. That's real. That's real. That's so fucking real. And I actually been to El Segundo. And so I filmed walking down the street. And, you know, that was the story of the whole walking down the street footage thing. Because I could not believe I was walking down, not like a rap song, El Segundo. I'm like in California, El Segundo. And I was looking for a um, uh, Padron, Padron cigar. Yeah, like it's a really nice cigar. And I like that cigar. I don't smoke a lot of cigars, but that's a good quality cigar. And I went to the cigar shop in El Segundo. Got footage of that too, but you know. They ain't like that video. That's about the videos. Yeah, I put that video on YouTube. Psh, they like, whatever. And <laughs> like, damn. And the song is called I Left My Wallet in El Segundo. I got it right. I got it right, yeah. I, I used to like that song. I used to like that song. But, you know, you think you think anybody in the Generation Z know who Tribe Called Quest is? I really wouldn't. I'm pretty sure somebody's parents played it. There's always somebody that keeps it alive. The majority mm. of them, I couldn't tell you. I... I'm not even going to try to okay. figure that out. Hey, have you ever heard of Councilman Eric Mays? Can you hear the crickets chirping? Okay. <laughs> I want to play something by Eric Mays. I don't know if I, I got the uh, audio right, but let, let's just try it right quick, okay? Rule on it. But you're not going to disrupt this meeting, and I ain't going to call you out of order. You walked out because you said I was answering them wrong. Yeah, no, uh, 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 let, let, let me point in my point, 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 point order. I'm ruling this. I walked out because the meeting had gotten out of hand. Let me be clear. That when ain't respect a point is of order. no longer, by, I'm, I'm chairing this meeting. I when respect is no longer chair. being served, no one's going to sit I in these meetings the when you have that. Chair. There's an appeal to the ruling of the chair. Is you there a second? Just take the flow. Point of information. What's your point of information? Davina, are you keeping time, please? Don't just go to heaven, because you don't like what I'm saying. That has nothing to do with it. Yes, Point. it does. No, it does not. I can speak Point. for myself. Forum. Yeah, Madam Chair. Go ahead. We're going to let him go a little bit longer. Mr. A little bit. Murphy. I'm trying to find a good one. Do you, Madam Chair, to Mr. Murphy, I want you to know what you're saying and trying to do is pissing me off. Mm -mm. We're doing decorum. We're not doing that. Beg your pardon? We're not doing we that. We ain't doing what? We're not picking on each other. I've already called decorum on four of my I'm not colleagues. picking on him. I'm saying what, I, how I feel. We are doing that. I can say how I feel. I ain't picked on him. I say what he's saying and doing about the previous administration versus this administration on this case is pissing me off. I am doing that if that's how I feel. You lost your ruling. Okay, this is not the best of him. Like, he goes ham on his counsel. He goes hard in the paint. I have never seen anything like that or heard anybody talk to the city council. And he doesn't, like, like, curse them out or nothing like that. Well, he does from time to time say some words that, but, but he be calling people out on their BS. I ain't going to even front. He literally calls them out on their BS. <laughs> he gets under their skin, too. But he actually follows the rules, how he do it. Unless somebody else knows more about him and they're going to come in like, you lying. Because this is, you know, people like to 
test the waters and say I might have said something wrong or didn't do it right. But anyway, but that's the thing of the past. Back to the current future. The Don Serious Show 